So right now I'm in New Cairo and we will pass by a very famous stadium. What is his name? What's his name? Petrosport. Oh. Petrosport. So here is the stadium. New Cairo is a fancy part of Cairo. Exactly. And uh, rich and educated people live there. This is very fancy hotel. Its name is Dusit. Yes. This one, right? Yeah, the whole, the whole building. <coughs> they don't have any. They don't have any decorations. We just yes, saw the wedding in Egypt. They are peeping with their uh, cars like they do in Serbia and I think in every another country. They do the same? Yes. And uh, why the cars don't have any decoration in this? No, one of them, one of them had, had decorations. The black car, it has decorations on it. Just the car that groom and bride are yeah. in? Yeah. But in Serbia every car have decorations. Really? Yes. No, that's expensive. No. But one, like car, one car is enough. Every uh, one car for, for groom and bride, they have uh, decorations uh, very much, yeah. but every another car have just at least one decoration. Really? Yeah. Now here we decorate only one. one. So we enter the Cairo Festival Mall and there is a dancing fountain. The show is about to start. Did you see that? No, but I see the lights. This was little train for kids. Oh, people who are watching this should know that this is my first day in Egypt and this is my first country in Africa. As Shakira would say, Samina mina e e vaka vaka e e Samina mina Santa Negua. This time for Africa. But although it doesn't feel like Africa yet, when I go more south, yeah, like, like, Sudan like Sudan and, Ethiopia, and yeah. other countries. These great countries, yeah. yeah. You're gonna like it, you're gonna feel Africa. Yeah, we are going to Nile and we are bus uh, passing the bridge that is over the Nile. It's very beautiful, it has a lot of restaurants. Yeah, food. it's very expensive restaurants. So we arrived to Nile and as Amar Diab would say, which is the meaning, Nile is very beautiful, very very beautiful and it brings memories for me. As I say, uh, next to Neil there is a lot of cafes and restaurants and there is one building that it's half hotel, half building. The two first floors and two last floors, they are, they are hotels, but the rest of the building is building. The um, apartments and the houses near Neil, the river, they are very expensive. Uh, they are like up to 10 million uh, Egyptian pounds and uh, 16 Egyptian pound is like 1 euro, so it's very expensive. Now for a break and coffee time. Cheers. There is some party from the roof of this hotel. A lot of billboards that they are making the nice city and beautiful city uh, less beautiful. This is downtown Cairo. And it's past midnight, so a lot of shops are closed. But still there is a traffic jam and 
lot of people go in restaurants, cafes. In Cairo there is no rules of uh, driving, you can drive as, as, as you like, as this uh, guy, he's driving in the middle of two ways. Most of the Cairo there is also no these lines that we are seeing now. It's exactly the reason the, why the people are not respecting this line. This flag, this is the hill square. Koshere is traditional Egyptian food. Inside we have kam kam. Inside we have pasta, chickpeas, onion and uh, uh, garlic and um, rice and rice. Uh, you put tomato sauce over it and you squeeze the lemon. We have also the garlic sauce and the spicy sauce and you can put all of it. You can put none of it. You can make combinations, you can do whatever you want. So it's traditional Egyptian food. Now I mix everything and I'm going to try it. Mm. Very good. So, we have some traditional Arabic desserts also. This is Ala Asal. Ala Asal. Ala Asal. This is pumpkin. So, it's pumpkin inside. This is creme caramel in Arabic. In uh, English, creme caramel. caramel. In Arabic? We say yes. In Arabic, yeah. Okay, in Arabic, it's also creme caramel. This is rose uleban. It's uh, rice with uh, milk. And this is. Mehalabiyya. Mehalabiyya. It's just milk. Yes, with sugar. Yes. With sugar. So this is creme caramel and it's very delicious. Okay. Thank you. You make it very good. Thank you. <laughs> this is train station. And we are going to Cairo Tower. Next to this train station we have uh, public transportations. They are very crowded. So with 300 Egyptian pounds, you can have a horse around the Nile. We are going to this tower, it's Cairo Tower. The ticket for tower is uh, 24 locals and 74 uh, tourists. And there is big line waiting for come inside. Tower is uh, in island between the Nile River, both of the, these rivers are in Nile. Um, this is the tower. It's between two cities, Cairo and Giza. Giza is the city where the pyramids are. And um, also it's designed like lotus flower, which means which have a very special symbolic for uh, ancient Egyptians. We are waiting like three hours to come inside of the Cairo tower. The line is very big. Hello. Shukran. Decorated with this beautiful lights, like this one in the video, 
but it was switched off because of uh, Paris Agreement for Global Warming. <laughs> That was line for down. We have to wait more. The Cairo Tower is uh, 187 meters. Cairo side, Nil River is dividing here in two parts, here and there. This is the island, and there is Giza, where are the pyramids also. Uh, the Cairo Tower is bigger than Giza pyramids, 43 meters. Interesting fact about uh, Egypt is that uh, plates for the car are written in uh, Arabic uh, numbers which is not case for uh, Jordan. In Jordan, it's written with international numbers. Some celebration? Yeah. This area is Heliopolis. It's outside of uh, Cairo, which has since managed the Cairo a district uh, of the city, and it's one of the most uh, felt areas in Cairo. So I'm going to Giza with this bicycle, motor, something. This is the name Tuk Tuk? Yes. People, this is Noor. I will be uh, at his place. He will be hosting me. He also have two guests from uh, Belarusia. And two from Belarusia that they are also traveling the world like me and they are also hitchhiking to Sudan like me. She's from Belarusia and she's traveling with her husband all around the world three months until now. And uh, they are in Cairo. They arrived here hitchhiking and uh, they are going to Sudan hitchhiking also like me. Natasha thinks that I'm like a witch. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. <laughs> you are like a witch. Do you think that I'm like a witch? <laughs> okay, you can't answer, but you can put it in the comments. Yeah, somebody locked the tree. Maybe they are afraid that somebody will... Uh, yeah, that somebody will steal it. This is kashari, uh, like I showed you before. It's made from uh, onions and uh, different kind of pasta, different kind and different size. And, uh, and uh, chickpeas and stuff. And you take tomato, you cover and it's made also with rice. They have, so inside is rice, um, pasta, different kind. Fried onion. Fried onion and uh, chickpeas. You put tomato and you put another stuff. Yes, you put this. You mix it and you eat. It's very, very delicious. Mm. You like? Very delicious. Buy the best food. <laughs> hey, do you know where are the trash bins? No. Ah, the trash bins is there. Yes, this is the trash. Oh my god, in the street? Yes. People here are very dirty. And they throw the garbage in the street? Oh my god, but one day they will dive in the trash. <laughs> yes, it will be, as you say. Maybe, maybe they will make like touristic attraction. <laughs> yes. Like diving in the trash after like 
a year. I just say, I just say, she says that, and it will be that because the smell sometimes is very fucking bad. And I think this touristic attraction will be more expensive than the pyramids. Yes, the pyramids is very cheap by the way. You have to go to the Yeah, pyramid. but diving in the trash, the trash just in Egypt. And it no, will be very fun. No, no, no. In Egypt. a lot of countries. Yes, but here in Egypt is the most. Really. I'm in front of the oldest mosque in uh, Cairo, Egypt. in Egypt and in Africa. Uh, this is, what is the name of the mosque? Amr Milas. Amr Milas. And uh, it's very big. And uh, we will see it from inside, but from outside it looks like this. By the way, this is the first time I wear my niqab in public. And we go. inside we came from there they give me this white um, green dress to wear it because uh, from niqab my hair is showing so I couldn't come I have to take it off and put it on this one like this tourist here Hello, Kifak. So this is this is basically mosque. This is the place where men go up, and uh, he is calling uh, for people to pray um, from from that spot. And uh, yeah, these are Qurans. I have one in Serbian. Mosque is very big, have a lot of face for praying. They are praying to in direction of uh, Mecca. Mosques are usually like building and inside of this building you have for pray. But here everything of this is mosque. And uh, this uh, for washing legs, it's, it's like in the middle, but usually it's in the garden outside of the mosque. Welcome Milana in the first mosque in Egypt and Africa. Thank you. The Ramahmoud. And this mosque established in the year 642. Do you know the name of the mosque? The name of the mosque is Amr ibn al -Has. Amr ibn al -Has, that man, he was a merchant. He lived here before in Egypt. He worked in marketing and he went again to Mecca. That one, he was an enemy for Prophet Muhammad for the first time. So when he wanted to kill Prophet Muhammad, he spent on him the first time. But after a few, time, few years that he convinced Islam and became Muslim. And after the death of Prophet Muhammad, he would like to come back here again to tell the Egyptian what the message of Islam. But at that time, that was not allowed because it's, um, there is no anything like freedom of speech. Like for example, uh, he, uh, he sent a message for Romans because Egypt at that time under the authority of Byzantine Romans. So he sent for them like a message, uh, let me tell uh, the Egyptian people of the message of Islam, but they told them, no, it's not allowed for you to do anything like that. And they also oppressed the Egyptian here, and the conflict arrived here that the Bob Benjamin, the Bob of Orthodox Christian, escaped to the Western Desert because Romans wanted to kill him at that time. So they were like tyrant or dictator shell. After that, Amr al has no choice only to fight them. So that battle got like um, two years and started from a province now, they call it Shakea province mm -hmm. in the eastern part of Egypt and then continue until they arrived to Alexandria in the year 642. And after the Muslim be inside Alexandria um, and they started to have the role here in the country. They established the first capital, and the first thing they did, they transferred the capital from Alexandria to that place, and they called it Fustat. If you open any book about the, the first name of Cairo, the first name of Cairo was Fustat. Fustat in ancient Arabic language means like tent. You know, tent? Mm -hmm. So it was like a big tent here in the area, so they called it the area or the city of 
tent. And then, and secondly, there is a hanging church outside because some people think that Muslims came here by, by sword or killing Christian or anything like that. That's, that's absolutely wrong because you can find the hanging church outside older than that mosque, but no one touch it or think to touch it because or thought to do something like that because that's not good in Islam. So Muslims didn't came to force Egyptians to be Muslim or to guard the church from them or to take off the cross from it. And you will see the church and the uh, uh, monastery outside of St. George, but no one taught it, uh, but they, they touched it, but they left it as it is until now it exists and you will, you will see it uh, there. And the second thing, they told the Bob Benjamin who escaped from a uh, Muslim desert to back to the church and no one will force him to believe in anything because Islam guarantee the free will for the people. If you would like to believe in anything, no one can force you because in second chapter in Quran, La ikraha fi deen. There is no compulsion. You cannot force anyone to be a Muslim. So um, after that, the Muslim established the first mosque here in this in that place. I was in the eastern part. Come. I was in that part. It was in a small area, like 15 meters or 25 meters, and it was from palm tree. From palm tree? Yeah, palm tree. The columns was not like that one from marble or anything like that, but it was from Balm tree. So this is the first place of the mosque. This is first column? No, the first place. Ah, first place. Yeah, the first area of the mosque was here. 15 meters for 25 meters. So from this column to, to yeah. the end? Yeah, but no one can, can limit it exactly because we don't have anything from that. So this corner was the first? Yeah, the first thing inside the mosque and uh, established by the companion of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And after a few years, some of Egyptian Coptic or a lot of Egyptian Coptic, they reverted to Islam or moved to Islam. So uh, our race here in Egypt, we are Coptic. But the religion, we were Orthodox. Yeah. Our religion, we were ex our ex religion, we were Orthodox. But our race is Coptic, that color or that face. Or, uh, so this is uh, the race of Coptic. We are mixed between Caucasian and African. Race. So, a lot of Egyptians they, they, they moved to Islam, so they had to expand the mosque. So, from the first expansion, they changed the architecture. If you look at this column, mm -hmm. uh, this column is the capital of the column. This is not an Islamic architecture, this is something like Greek, or we call it Ionic architecture, it looks like Greek or Roman uh, mm -hmm. architecture. And that white marble, we don't have it here. In, in Egypt, so the Muslims brought things like that from outside and put it inside the mosque, and that mosque expanded for eight times. The last expansion of the mosque, the mosque have consists of 365 columns like days of year, and 12 doors like month of year, and 76 windows like nothing. But that was very important because. We use the mosque in the past. Seven, six windows for nothing. Are you yeah. sure windows yeah. are for nothing? Yeah. Maybe there is some reason, but you don't know it. No, no, but no one told us. Of the people who started, I got this information from the people, the archaeologists, they started archaeology. But, uh, but I know the function, the function of a lot of windows and a lot of doors inside the mosque, because we considered the mosque in the past as an university. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all Coptic uh, Christian Egyptian people. Now we are going to Salahadin Mosque. This is uh, uh, Jesus uh, Mosque. This is Jesus Mosque. This is Castle of Salahadin. All of this. And over there is Mosque of Salahadin. We are going to see it. Original wall of this uh, Salahadin castle is this black part that we see. A lot of people like this want to sell the products. Tickets. There is military museum. This one is house guest. And they make Allah from the tree. So we are now inside of the castle. The ticket for uh, local people and Arabs are five 
Egyptian pound and for foreign is 60 Egyptian pound. We can put Jewism out of there. This is the way to the, to the mosque. So we are going to see this mosque, it's Salahadin Mosque. Salahadin, <laughs> and you cannot enter the mosque, uh, and you need a cover, hijab. Yes, I know, like for every mosque. Yeah, and you you didn't <laughs> have a hijab. <laughs> I have niqab. You have niqab? Uh-huh. So that you can uh, wear it. And this is the uh, traditional mm -hmm. and principles of Islam. We should respect the Muslims' country. We should not complain that this is against the human rights or something like that. It's not that against the human rights, it's against human rights to for all Arabs to pay five Egyptian pounds and for tourists to pay more, like 60 pounds. Welcome to Salah Adini Mosque. This is the place where um, Muslims wash their legs and arms and face before the prey. This is the two columns from what they are calling for prey. in the same time because every mosque is doing it in the same time so it's you, you don't hear it right it's like 10 person is speaking in the same time now she is making tattoo arab tattoo uh, it will disappear after, after a few days yeah and this is for free this is the muslims in uh, in egypt they are very generous people uh, at the contrary, what they they telling the people in the West that we are a uh, terrorism and we like to kill the people and Please we like don't speak to... about religion. <laughs> <laughs> so that we are very. This is Muhammad. He's holding camera and he's speaking about religion all the time. This woman, she's from uh, Sudan. Sudan. I mean, this is very beautiful art. Yeah, it's very beautiful and this is for free. This is a gift from the Muslims people to uh, Milano. <laughs> Painting wedding ring. This is wedding ring and uh, this will stay in my hand like, like this. And, and One you. hour and I will clean my hand and it will be like tattoo. Uh, after it will become like tattoo, it will stay for one week. This is Imam of uh, for Shia, right? Yes. See the mosque. Uh, inside, inside is buried Hussein. Uh, he was uh, one of uh, 12 Imams of Shia and one of uh, close friends for Muhammad. So we are going inside of this mosque to visit it. I'm in the woman part right now. I will go inside of the mosque and you will see the shrine of uh, Hussein. Just, just the Sidna Hussein only? Huh? Yes. Come on. Come on. I speak English very well. There is Quran and inside is his tomb. This is Eiffel Tower in Cairo. This one is original, but uh, the French people put the, the fake one, the copy one, in Paris. Oh. <laughs> this one original. 
Where is my happy birthday song? No. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Now in Arabic? <laughs> So I should make a wish, right? Yeah. Yes. And my wish should come true. What should I wish? <laughs> I wish I eat all this cake. <laughs> Ooh, you are hungry. <laughs> No, another wish. Yalla. I will not be selfish. Yay! I feel a tiny And I get the gift. It's not Quran from these guys. Shukran. Xiaomi cake. Siomi, yes. What is Siomi? So you are fasting. Ah, yes. Uh, you buy it in the fasting shop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, the, it's, the, it's special for uh, this. Really? Yeah. This over there is great museum. Yes. They will build the biggest museum in the world. We finish the next year. We'll finish the next year and put, uh, they will put from the Egyptian museum, they will put it here. We will put about 1,000 pieces. They will put about 1,000 pieces of uh, old Here I was uh, robbed three or four, four days ago in this uh, metro train. And I was in the woman part. I was holding my bag all the time, but uh, in one point I uh, forget and I didn't uh, didn't watch on my bag because I was speaking with some girl. She was asking me, "Where are you from? Where is Serbia? Where is Europe?" No, 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 no. So even though I was in the woman uh, part of the metro, I was wrong. Uh, anyway, I report immediately this to the police uh, here, and uh, I block my bank account. But after. Uh, after a while, they find my wallet uh, with everything inside, just missing the money. So they didn't take documents or pictures or tickets that I had. Just they take money and they leave the wallet and police find it very quickly. Uh, here it's hanging church. This one is, yes. Um, yesterday was my birthday and I decided for my birthday to do a tattoo in my right hand. Like the Coptic, uh, Coptic Christians, they do cross in their right hand. This church was uh, built in U. Uh, behind this church is something like U. And then on this U they put um, wood, on this wood they put stones and on these stones they built the church. That's why it's called hanging church because behind this church is very deep and it's somehow hanging. It's very beautiful. Here also happened one miracle that uh, one guy who, because Jesus said if you're uh, if your hand wants to do something sin, it's better to cut it. If your eyes want to do some sin, better to take it off. So one man, he take off his eyes and um, the Maryam appeared to a uh, priest of this uh, church and she tell him to, to search for this man and uh, he, will, uh, he will cut one Muktab mountain because the government wanted to cut this mountain and he go and he cut them out. There is also another miracle happen here. I will ask for uh, details and we will see inside.
are in the biggest street here in Cairo and we are going to see a church. where uh, Jesus escaped from King Herodotus uh, when he wanted to kill him when he was born. Uh, his, uh, his mother Mariam and uh, her husband was escaping through this, this land and uh, here we, we uh, see the original ground where Jesus was walking and here is the map. So we escaped from the original um, ground which Jesus Christ cross is from this is church and the part of old church is behind this one. We saw it where we go down and we saw the original grass where the original land where the Holy Family passed to Egypt. So there we was in underground pass for the church. This is another church. And here we see something. This is the fortress of Babylon. You are here. Yes. But not you. I am here. Here. This is the schedules of the church readings and this is this <laughs> fortress of the Babylon it's next to hanging churches over there next to it here is another church here is some flag and here is me as I know the Egypt have a very good perspective to become very good touristic uh, spot for tourists uh, more than that, uh, soon they can make a very good uh, touristic attraction, but no one else have. It's uh, swimming in the garbage. This is river of the garbage. Next to the river of uh, garbage, we have normal rivers like Nile. This is swans in Nile. They are so cute. This is a police mosque. Looks modern. How it is police mosque? What is the meaning of police mosque? When someone someone from police uh, get married, he uh, make it his wedding and the people here. In this mosque? Just for the police? Yes. Why? Every uh, every job you can find some something like this. The lawyer can like, you can find uh, some place just for lawyers making uh, the wedding there. Or but if a woman is lawyer and the man is police, then where they will marry? <laughs> you, you will tell me. <laughs> uh -huh. In the street. <laughs> In the street? So the woman need to convert to police yes. or no? <laughs> uh? Maybe. Okay. You can't find police woman here. <laughs> you can't? No, it's forbidden. You, can, you can't find police woman. It's forbidden? Yes. Why? Uh, it's a hard job. In Jordan there is a lot of police women. Yeah. No, in Egypt no. One of my attractions in uh, Egypt is uh, to, to sail. And now we are going to sail with one of the ships in uh, Nile River. <coughs> and we'll see a lot of nice destinations. So we just get out and we are starting to sail. Every ship should have two flags, 
one from which country they are and another in which country uh, they are. But because this ship is from Egypt and it's in Egypt... Then it only has the one. Yes, then, then it only has one Egyptian flag. Uh, one hour of sailing, it's like 120 hours. Can we hit another ship? We can steal their money, you know, like pirates. Have a restaurant, which is round shape and good for proposing. This this building very beautiful. The Nile is so beautiful. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, like. Comment down below if you were in Cairo and how was your experience like. This would be my next video and this is the video that YouTube recommends for you to watch. So stay tuned and see you. Bye!